Hi everybody, today we're talking a little bit more about does this patient have plantar fasciitis? And diagnosing it's actually more tricky than what we think because there's so many different things that could be occurring here. And we're going to go through a few of those up, um, differential diagnoses in another video, but right now I want to tell you about how patients are typically presenting. And they're going to say that they've got aching, throbbing or sharp pain to their heel. Sometimes they'll say it's at the back of the heel, sometimes they'll say it's at the front and it's really up to us to really pull down into, okay, where's that um, you know, most palpably painful. On ultrasound, it's going to be thickened more than 3.5 or typically more than four millimeters is where I'd say that it's going to be diagnostic for a, Morton's, uh, for a um, plantar fasciitis. Um, and on x-ray, there may be a plantar calcaneal spur, but we need to be reminding our patients that just because there's a heel spur there does not mean that that is the problem. And patients may come through saying that they've got a heel spur and it's really causing pain. And we need to really demystify and educate the public more broadly about saying a heel spur is not the problem, but it could be adding to some of the problems some of the time. Really, it's that really tight plantar fasciitis that we need to offload um, and reduce the inflammation around to make sure our patients come out of pain. When we're pushing around, we're going to find that that palpable pain is about half to a full centimeter off of that medial tubercle of the calcaneus. And when we're pushing there, it's going to be very telltale and I'm sure a lot of us have been able to see that in our patients. If you're finding pain that's also around that lateral band, potentially going from sort of central heel out to the base of the fifth metatarsal, then that's what we're typically seeing during a chronic plantar fasciitis um, sort of episode. And I typically see that over about four months or typically around six months where they're saying it's actually the outside of my heel and the inside of my heel is now pretty good. That's more of a lateral band plantar fasciopathy. And typically on ultrasound, it might show that there's a little bit of thickening there, but that medial band will still be inflamed as patients are just now offloading it by walking more laterally. And then that's causing more problems there as well, because obviously the lateral aspect of our you know, um, foot is not meant to take all that loading throughout gait. Um, and it changes how people are going to be walking as well due to the pain um, and you know, trying to offload everything. But the most important aspect is going to be excluding those differential diagnoses, which we're going to be going through on another video. So in the meantime, subscribe, jump onto those videos and see if we can help you out with anything else as well. Cheers.